Okay, so I'm ready to get started. A little nervous, but we're ready. Um, when you put your roller on, make sure you give it a little um, fluff off kind of thing so that none of the little hairs get into stuff. And do the same thing with your sponge. Give your paint pen a good shake. And make sure you have the right one. Black primer. Roll on. I use a screwdriver. Maybe it's not going to be quite big enough. Oh yeah, it's good. And open up that there can of paint. Okay. So I'm leaving my tray on this side for now, so it's going to be slightly out of your guys' view. But I'm going to dump, I'm actually only going to go dump in about a third, actually I think that's less. Um, it says it does quite a large surface area, so if at all possible I'd like to just make sure that I'm not going to be wasting any. Alright, and it says to just cut in in your edges. Pardon me, maybe I will bring it over here for a second. Um, cut in all of your edges. In a three to four foot spot. So I'm going to do everything this side of the sink and then I'm going to do everything on the other side of the sink. Okay, so because they say you don't want it to dry, and I'm starting to see a little bit of drying spots, I'm going to go ahead and switch out for the roller. And you want to start with your backsplash without bumping that bottom. I'm not sure why it's not rolling very well, the actual roller. I was expecting it to have a bit more movement. Seems to just brush on, which I don't like. I want it to roll. Let's try this direction. Still. quite a lot of bubbles, which again worries me a bit. Can't get that to roll, so I'm going to roll it this way because I want it's going to have the texture, I want it all to be the same. Okay, again with the shaky camera, I just wanted to show you it's still very wet. The initial bubbles that I was a little concerned about all seem to be not causing any real problem. Everything's kind of just settling out just fine. 
You can see spots that are drying already. They're a little um, more faded. Some really shiny, glossy spots still. But all in all, I think we got some excellent coverage and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so welcome back. I did let this cure overnight. It was too late in the day to kind of keep going. But you see all the bubbles that I was worried about. Everything has actually dried really well. It's a nice flat black. Do have one concern, but I've decided I'm not going to try and fix it. And you'll see that is this middle section right here. Where obviously I went over everything else more times than that. I am worried that if I do go over it again, that it will be even darker. I'll have to wait another eight hours. And I think when I sponge on the mineral paint, that uh, that will be covered up in no real problem. So there you are, fully dried and cured. And really looking great. My husband's super excited.